Hi, hello. Guess what we're gonna be eating? A um, mukbang. <clears throat> Whoa. We're gonna be having a mukbang today and it's gonna be delish. It's gonna be hot. <gasps> what? I have a little webito in here. I already ate some, that's why. Mmm, so freaking good. Honestly. <clears throat> so good. I even have a little Dr. Pepper in here. So good. So, during our mukbang, I'm gonna be doing a QA. And people are asking me questions on Instagram. So we're gonna see what type of questions they ask me. Hopefully they're not inappropriate, but yes. But anyways, let's get into the video. Let's do the mukbang and let's do a little QA. Let's have a sausage first. Okay. Somebody said, How was your pregnancy journey? My pregnancy journey um with Adeline. I think for the most part with Addy, I was very embarrassed. Like very, very, very embarrassed. So like, so like basically like, cause I was so embarrassed. Like I didn't take no maternity pictures. I never took pictures of my mom. Um, me and Nathaniel have rarely seen each other. Like even though I was pregnant during summer. Mm. Oh no, I was pregnant during school. Um, so yeah, like I think I was just more embarrassed to be pregnant. So like I didn't really like experience anything, like anything at all, zero. No maternity pictures, nothing. We did have a gender reveal. But it wasn't like um like a big one like it wasn't like you know what i mean so uh, my mother-in-law did throw it for us but i think because i was so embarrassed to be pregnant at such a young age like i was just like i didn't really enjoy anything if that makes sense i was like embarrassed the entire time ah dude mm. it tastes so fishy how many children do you guys want in the future and how does Addy feel about siblings? I personally say four or five. <laughs> the reason why is because <clears throat> my husband and I grew up with like like siblings, like a lot of them. And I love, love, love growing up with them. Like it was always fun. Like there was always a lot of different personalities, like all the fighting. Like, there was just more memories to create, you know? There's more people there. It was just fun. Um, something that I do regret, though, is, like, not having a kid after Addy. Like, back to back, so Addy doesn't, like... Basically, like... Okay, I think of it, like, this way. Me and my older sister are a year and a half apart. And we both got busy around the same time, so no one left nobody, if that makes sense. Like, she didn't leave me alone with my parents, and, like, it was boring at the house. Like, no. We left the house at the same time. Well, she's still there, but she got busy. And then my little sisters are like six years apart. Wait, no. How old is she? Yeah, we're like six years apart, me and my little sister, my second little sister. The little, little one, we're 10 years apart. Or eight. I don't really know exactly. But anyways, so like since we're big, like we have like a big gap. Like I left the house like when they were little, like four years ago. Like, two years ago, actually. Three years ago. So, like, I don't know. I felt like if it wasn't for my older sister, like, not going to school, like, close by, they, it would just be them, too. And that would be boring, you know? So, that's something I do regret is, like, not having a kid right after Addie. But the next kids I do have, I definitely want to have them back-to-back. -back. So, I'll be pregnant for, like, three years straight. And then... They also asked, like, how does Addie feel about siblings? Well, like, Addie, if I can be honest, like, she loves the idea of a sister, like, so much. She doesn't, not so much, not, doesn't care, but, like, having a brother, it, like, it's not in her books. Like, she wants a sister. Like, she says she's going to have a sister. She does not want a brother. And as for me, I think I'm, like, more comfortable with the idea of having a girl because my family were all girls. Like, fun fact, like all my grandma, my grandma from my mom's side, all her great grandkids are all girls. Oh, except one. So there's like five great grandkids and five of them are girls and one of them's a boy. Uh -huh. Also, in cousins, like the cousins that I have, there's probably like 22 of us that are girls and like three boys four boys there's four boys 
So like, if you can tell, like it's like a huge, huge, huge like girls are overpopulated at my um, family's. <laughs> so I'm more comfortable with the idea of girls. Plus, I never grew up with a brother, so like it's just always been us four sisters. So I don't know. I think I'm comfortable with the idea of a girl, but I don't know if like. Like, I feel like if I were to have a son, like, I would be excited because I never had, like, a little boy ever. So, like, I would be excited to experience that. But I'm more comfortable with the idea of a girl. I don't know. Dude, this shell just came out perfect. It's like a little scoop. It's so good. So freaking good if you guys don't like smacking the song this video is not for you and i do not care i'm not going to change it because this food is so freaking bomb like i want every last bit of piece in my mouth now sorry i look at a question right now this is so good see what i mean oh that's my favorite part what advice you wish you'd heard when you what you wish you would have heard when you were younger Fuck it. Uh oh, damn. Hell oh, uh, uh, fuck it. I feel like when you're young, like, this is a crawfish little hat, by the way. I feel like when you're young, you don't really take advice. Like, you don't really care what anybody has to say. And that's something I regret. I regret not listening to my mom. Like, I regret, like, not listening to her. But, like, a good advice I would have given myself, like, right now, if I can go back in time is to love my stepdad and accept him because I feel like for so long I didn't accept him as a child and I feel like it was just like time that I just like wasted being angry at him for no freaking reason when he was literally amazing like he was my t-ball coach like how amazing is that day till this day me and my stepdad probably talk more than me and my mom true like, he'll call me, he's like, oh, how are you doing with this? How are you doing with that? Like, he'll give me ideas. Like, he's amazing. I always get tired of being angry. Um, next one before we cry. Nah, I'm just kidding. How do you keep the color in your hair looking so good all the time? I always get this question. And honestly, guys, I genuinely just believe that, like, the longer you have the red or any color in your hair, the more it just sticks to your hair. Because before, it would fade so fast, so, so fast. My, when my mother-in-law does my hair like she drenches my hair in color like drenches hair in my hair in color She probably uses like three four tubes Like she's not stingy at all Tips on raising a kid as first-time parents. Ooh, that one's a good one a tip. I would say See like something me and Nathaniel regret a lot sometimes is like kind of like taking time for granted like like, I feel like Adeline grew up super fast, and we didn't get to, like, I don't know, like, be in the moment because we were both working so hard to get, like, a house and stuff. But I don't regret that because, you know why? Because, like, now that she's older, like, she has her house, and she never has to, like, I don't know, remember being, like, in a little room. So, something that I can regret. What do I regret? A tip would be... Um, to go on a trip when they're little. I feel like I wish I would have done that more. Especially because like, also taking lots of pictures, lots of pictures, lots and lots of pictures. What's your favorite meal to make for the family? Love you guys, by the way. Oh, love you too. I love people that watch us and that like interact with us like this. Like I literally love it. Okay. What's your favorite meal to cook? seafood boy oh i just feel like there's so much different things you can add like you can always try adding like mussels and things like that and i love it it's just so flavorful so good and i love sharing it with my family because my parents and nathaniel's family doesn't really cook seafood boil but i can cook it all the time i love it can you take us with you when you go to dye your hair yes and it should be on monday how do I start not feeling shy to post on social media? Please, I love you guys. Aw. Dude, you see, I love reading those messages. It makes me feel so, like, whole. Like, okay, I don't look crazy posting. Like, people actually like to watch us. How to start not feeling shy? I guess you just have to, like, 
like doing it because me i've always liked talking to myself on the camera like i used to have like a snapchat story like a private story story and the ogs know like i would post everything on there like i would just post myself talking and then eventually i stopped caring and then i just started posting it on tiktok because i'm like the people who don't like me should not be watching this anyway like you should not be able to stand me and if you're watching you love me period what's your guys's zodiac sign um zodiac sign I would say, I would say, no, I'm just kidding. I'm a Virgo and he's a Leo and Addie's a Taurus. Does that mean we get along? Eh. Addie definitely does not get along with me anymore, guys. I've been having a little bit of beef with her. Not because I want to. But, like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. It's not even beef. But, like, she doesn't like, like, me and her dad together. Well, like, she hates that, like... Like, we're married. She hates it. Addie hates that me and Nathaniel are married. And she can't get married to him. She hates it. She gets so mad. Every time she talks to me about it, she's, like, so angry. She's like, you guys are married. And I'm like, okay, Addie, it's because you're too little. And she's like, I'm going to eat all my vegetables and grow big for daddy. I'm like, okay, girl. Go ahead. Biggest turnoff or ick in a relationship? Mmm. <laughs> A turn off? I don't really have a turn off. Oh, wait. I have one. But it's not speaking from my experience. One time, I was talking to a friend, right? And we were having a casual conversation. And she was telling me how, like, one of her friends... This is, like, no shade, nothing. But I always find this weird. So, one of her friends got mad at her because she stayed with a guy or something like that. Or, like... Like, she ended up staying with this guy or she slept with him. Or, like, I don't know how exactly it went down. But, like, the friend was mad at her for staying with the guy. And I'm like, bro, like, that's so weird. Like, how does it piss you off that much that your friend is fucking a guy? Or, like, talking to that guy? Like, who cares? Like, why are you so involved into your friend's life? And I remember when she told me that, I was, like, so confused. I was like, does she like you? Or, like, what? Because, like, that makes no sense. Like, why would she be mad at you as a friend? Like, if my friend goes and messes with the guy, like... I'm not going to get mad at her and not talk to her over a guy. Like, that's weird. But anyways, I guess that's like an ick. Like, when people put their noses where they don't belong in any type of relationship, like a friendship, a relationship. Like, if your man is telling a guy or, like, a friend or a girl about your guys' relationship problems, that's ick. That's the biggest ick. Because if it's not that big, you don't need to tell nobody. I mean, it's okay to tell, like... Like, somebody close to you that won't say anything, but, like, to people, like, that are, like, inconvenient in your life. I don't know. I just find that weird. Ugh. It's just fucking hard. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Next question. What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Bro, me and I were rebels. <gasps> Bro, we were so bad. One time, me and I were like freshmen or whatever, like sophomores, I think. And it was like during summer. And we like wanted to see each other. We're like, oh, you know, like blah, blah. It was like one in the morning and we lived in a small town. So like, you could basically bike to each other. Like, and you would get there in like two, five minutes. And so like, we were like, what should we do? Like, what should we do? You want to see each other, you know? And he was like, well, I'll go bike to you. And I was like, okay. He's like, I have a quad. But it's gonna be a lot if I use it. I'm like, bitch, you're doing too much. And he's like, I'll just bike to you. I was like, okay. So he bikes to me, you guys. This guy brought me chips, a soda, everything. Okay. I have a funny story, but I'm not gonna tell you guys unless he's here. Because it's embarrassing for him. Okay. Another time, I was like, we were feeling a little bit more like rebellious. And then he <laughs> he took his grandpa's truck <laughs> and he picked me up and we went literally to the front of a gas station, you guys. And we just watched a movie because we were scared <laughs> like of like the darkness. So like we just watched it in front of like the brightest fucking gas station ever. And we were like eating chips like at 2 a.m. We we're weird. <laughs> we were weird, dude. Yeah, that's like the most spontaneous thing ever. Like. We never really did anything crazy. Uh, besides have a baby, I like two. Ah, I'm just kidding. 
No, I'm not kidding. That really did happen. But like I'm saying, like it's a joke. If y'all didn't get that. Ah. Ah. Okay, there you go.